Hey fellow freelancers, Johnny5 Alive here and welcome back to another Anthem video. Today we're going to discuss something a little bit suspicious. Did we possibly lose out on $20 from EA? And we're also going to talk more about the microtransactions as we do have confirmed prices. And I think there's a lot that we could discuss here, which is really interesting. So stay tuned and let's get into it. All right, so first I want to cover something here, and I, I wish I had it still here. There, This used to say upgrade, <laughs> and I pushed the upgrade button, and it, was, it said upgrade complete, but I already had the Legion of Dawn version. So this is what I want to discuss. Did we possibly lose out on $20? And I thought this was really weird, because when I bought the Legion of Dawn uh, edition, I thought I was getting early access with it, but I was actually only getting VIP demo access. Then I later on find out I have to buy this freaking Premiere thing for $20, not just EA Access, but EA Premier, which gives you access to games early from EA products, which is Anthem is an EA product. So I was like, darn, if I want early access, I got to shell out another $20 on top of the 80 I've already bought. But if you just had pre-ordered the Anthem Standard Edition, then you bought Premier. The Premier has one of the features is you can upgrade games for free. So if you bought the Standard Edition of Legion of Dawn, you then buy Premier. So it's 60 bucks for your standard edition 20 bucks for your premiere that's 80 then you come in here and you upgrade to legion of dawn for free now you're paying a total of 80 dollars for early access legion of dawn the whole package and i thought this was really unfair that if you just bought legion of dawn they should have either given you a free month of premiere or early access to the game without any other premiere benefits with all their other games and products and stuff just early access because what ends up happening here is i paid 80 dollars for legion of dawn and then another 20 for premiere and missed out on the free upgrade and now i'm spending a hundred dollars and i'm down 20. it's interesting so I am unsure if this actually works because I don't have the standard edition. I've been asking around Discord, but everybody that I'm talking to already bought the Legion of Dawn edition and then got Premiere. And this is what I was wondering, is this a sneaky move by EA or is this a typo in their system here? Because it does say you can upgrade to Legion of Dawn with Premiere when you come in here. So if anyone out there has the standard edition for PC, get Premiere Pro, or if you have Premiere, try to verify for us in the comments if you were to upgrade for free or if that is a typo. And if that is the case, then, then, then you are losing out on $20 if you already bought Legion of Dawn and then you bought Premiere, which is a little bit unfair. I think all Legion of Dawn purchaser, pre-order purchasers should have early access to the game. The fact that we had to go then buy Premiere Pro on top, our premiere on top of it means we're down 20 bucks because of the other way around people being able to upgrade from standard to legion and save themselves 20 dollars i feel like the people who bought both legion of dawn full price and premiere full price it would be nice if they compensated us with 20 dollars in game currency or something like that i don't know this this is a suspicious topic to me i just wanted to bring it up because i was a little bit curious when i hit this button that upgraded my pack and i was like i already upgrade i I mean, I already had the upgrade, so what am I upgrading to? And I was, and then I was like, oh, it dawned on me. It, it legioned of dawned on me. <laughs> All right, so. That's the first thing I wanted to bring up. Just a curious topic. Let's get into the microtransactions. This is what we have available on the store right now. We have the Guardian Armor Pack for 850, what are these, gems or shards? Then the uh, Dreadnought Armor Pack for 850 shards. The Gum on the Shoe for 400. D Diamond Metal Plate for 300, which is a, a material. Then we have the Honeycomb Canvas for 300 and a Vinyl for 300. So if we go to the Get Shards, we can actually get a uh, an, an estimate of how much these are going to cost us. So these are Canadian prices for me. I am in Canada. Uh, it's $12.99 for $12.50. American, it's $9.99. And if you have the discount, it's $8.99. And for me, it's $8.69. So this actually works out to be roughly uh, $1.16 or $1.17 per 100 shards, roughly. But uh, that's with the discount. So otherwise, it's like $1.30 for every 100 shards Canadian. But there are packs, I guess you get deals, but really you're only getting like an extra 150 for free, I believe. The prices are roughly the same. Yeah, and you get like a little bit of bonus for buying more. So with all that said, we can estimate that these are roughly 100, 100 shards per dollar. So that would mean that these are $8.50. $4 for the emote, $3 for the material, so on and so forth. You guys get it. So these are epic skins. 
skins, not legendary. Uh, looking at other games like Fortnite, I think they do sell their legendary skins for $15. Uh, I would hope that these legendary skins, if there are legendary skins that come out, they're no more than... 1200 uh, i would imagine it's like 50 percent more like it's the next upgrade so i would imagine it being like 1250 that's gonna be my guess we're gonna throw that guess out there i think obviously we all want it to be like less <laughs> we want it to be the same we want it to be 850 but a lot of people out there i saw online were saying they want five bucks for skins five bucks a skin the cheaper the better but most people have high expectations and high hopes so when people wanted five dollars that's like the ideal situation right so 850 is actually not much more than five right they a lot of people were not wanting twenty dollars we're not getting freaking bethesda 18 dollar blue power armor paint <laughs> 850 for a whole Whole skin pack which is the helmet the shoulders the chest the, you know the legs that's the whole thing that's um that's not too bad considering it's interchangeable kits and i believe i talked about this a little bit before but like if we go to the armory here here we can see i'm wearing the legion of dawn armor kit but again this is the it comes with a helmet right you can swap that out and then it has the torso arms legs so i would imagine legion of dawn would probably be either classified as an epic or probably a legendary i would imagine legendary but it does look a lot better than the default javelin un unarmored so if i were to pay 12 dollars for that i don't think it's that bad i think it's actually pretty fair considering the tech gone behind these like when you go to apply paint to these look at all the paint regions that are highlighted right like i changed the color here uh, i could change the material this is like basically playing with a body kit for like a like a car game you know you could change the color you could change the material and you have so many options that really make a difference here and then there's wear states and the vinyls every time they make a new armor kit they have to fit all the vinyls to every single armor kit that is a lot of work for an artist so every time a new kit is being made they got to do color regions for all the paints all the materials they have to do the vinyl fitting for every single vinyl for every single armor and then they also have to go in and add all the wear states and then they have to have a qa tester test every single possible combination to make sure nothing bugs out so they got to make sure all the materials work on all the different regions it's a lot of work whereas if you look at other games you get this skin you get this character and you just put it on and there you have it this is interchangeable with all your other pieces so i'm going to be able to mix and match all this stuff in the future so i do think eight dollars and fifty cents is pretty fair priced and i do think five dollars would have been pretty low priced but here's the thing guys so far if you are outraged by the price it seems extremely easy to earn coins I've been playing this game for six hours and I have 50,000 coins. I don't <laughs> I don't know if that's indicative of how it's going to be every time I play, but six hours, 50,000 coins, that's r roughly 10,000 an hour. So yeah, I could buy this whole set by playing for a day, but I do think I started with some coins. I'm not exactly sure. All I know is I'm at 50,000. You gain coins faster at higher levels. So we're earning coins pretty slow right now. For missions, I'm not getting that many coins, but I believe at the higher levels, you will earn a lot more and there also is a, a social setting there's a hub where you and your teammates here i'll show you i'll run over there so here at this guy there's the weekly alliance status based off of like your best friends it'll it'll rate your top five best friends so add as many people as you can to your friends list and whoever performs the best you're gonna get coins based off of their achievements and their earnings now obviously we've all been playing for less than five six hours each so the amount of coins that i'm gonna en end up getting in two days and 21 hours is only going to be like 300 from each of them but that's literally for me doing nothing and there's like a times five friend bonus so i don't know if this is actually going to end up being 1500 i don't know i'm not exactly sure how this system works it's going to have to we're going to have to wait and see but it's assuming i'm going to get 1400 coins which does seem rather low right now but i imagine if we're all level 30 probably earning 3000 plus you know per person either way they have this system for a reason which means you know you and your best friends who are just playing the crap out of the game are going to be earning you some bonus coins and the current rate of earning coins seems pretty good so i don't think you have to worry too much about having to 
spend actual real money, which does hurt Bioware because they're giving you all this content for free. They need people to buy stuff from the shop. So in some cases, I do feel like everybody should buy something just to help, you know, develop the game further. Because if they don't make anything from this, like, they have to start charging us for content or doing changing their model somehow. But it does seem like you can earn stuff pretty fairly in game. But materials in this game, such as masterwork materials that you need to craft a masterwork item and re-roll you're going to be constantly crafting masterwork items to get the rolls that you want it's about 5,000 gold for the material you need to re-roll so you re-roll something 10 times that's 50,000 gold so you might end up finding you're pouring your money into re-rolling to try to get that nice masterwork crafted item and now you can't be buying the skins so I do think there's a little bit of a trade-off here you spend all your in-game money on skins and now you don't have the materials that you need to re-roll so I think that's where they're going to get us where I, personally me I would rather pull up my wallet buy this stuff spend 50 bucks get it all whatever and then all my money is saved up for end game when I need to just re-roll that assault rifle over and over and over and over again until I get that perfect roll so I think that's the way th that's how they get us in that system per se is is the crafting so we'll have to wait and see but personally I feel like it's fairly priced everybody was freaking out maybe that freaking out had something to do with the prices changing a little bit because I think originally these prices were like $20 so uh hopefully you know maybe the community uh, the leak of the info had something to do with the influence of changing these prices but I think $8.50 for an epic skin and, and maybe $12 for legendary seems just fine so I'm I'm, I'm quite okay with this and uh uh, love to hear what you guys think down below and uh, let me know if you had the standard edition and were able to upgrade to Legion of Dawn using your premiere and if so I do feel like us who had to buy both should get something in return because that's a little bit unfair. <laughs> I don't know. The only reason we bought Premiere was for early access and we already bought Legion of Dawn and we could have upgraded for free. I guess now you know for the future, don't buy the uh, expanded editions of EA games, just upgrade through Premiere. But I don't even know if that system works. I actually used to work on Origin guys and there was there were bugs like that where I was like, this feature's a thing and it was like, no, that's a bug. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I, I, I reported a lot of bugs when I worked on Origin. So I'm always a little bit skeptical on is this a real feature is this a thing but uh, let me know if it works for you guys all right that's gonna do it for me here in this video love to read your guys' comments down below so drop them down below and if you guys enjoy the show please consider supporting it further on patreon it is much appreciated all right everybody thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye now